in the chat, and as well, if you're watching this from the YouTube video, please feel free to leave feedback in the comments below. But here we go, guys. Team Car Crash going up against Team Nonstop Nonsense. Both teams do have villains at the moment, so please keep that in mind. Buffs getting started here, throwing out Swiftness on both sides. Three seconds to go. Let's open the map and check out the splits. Here we go. Hold on to your points. Seize there. And as we see here, both teams sending what we usually saw from the last games as well. Red Team's Engineer is going to be falling back to Temple. The Blue Teams did send their Engineer as well. It's going to come over here to cross to, to, over to Temple as well. So they probably won't get there in time though, so that's probably going to be uh, just a bit of a 1v1 while Red Team has control over that. But checking out what we have over here, Adiratari currently sitting up here, free casting from above. Posse is in a bit of trouble, already popped his heal unfortunately, in addition to his play form. But Epoly, in addition to that, a lot of burst was thrown out there, and Epoly is going to get knocked down here now pretty instantly by Sam there, which is going to give, uh, it's just going to give Car crash, a pretty significant advantage here in the beginning of this fight. Going over to Posse's point of view as he just expired out of that plate corner. He's probably gonna come up here now, fall back a little bit to give himself some safety. He's actually gonna be falling back to Temple now. They do have control of that, and they did manage to get control of mid as well. So, with that in mind, they're gonna be flying back to Temple now to make sure that stays safe in their control. Uh, I think this is super actually here. He's in a bit of trouble here at the moment as he does get knocked out there by Hawk. But fortunately for him, Lady Nagag and other members of Scar Crash were able available to come in there and really just save the day in his favor. So they got that, and we're probably going to see him form that defensive line and get back over to mid now. Unfortunately for Sam here, he is going to be in a bit of trouble here as pretty much almost everyone from that involves in on this now. Three members, or four members are actually on him at the moment. So he is trying to hold on strong. Let's check around, see how he's holding on. Does have that save yourself still. He has popped this heal at the moment and hasn't popped any of his virtues at all. So he actually is holding up pretty strong against that burst. But we do have the reinforcements finally have come in uh, from Car Crash now. So Adira Tari getting sort of taken down here by Lady Nagnik as they just jump all around him trying to knock him out here now. Hitting him pretty hard at the moment as he falls back. Magwa was taken out in the in the burst of the burst there. Uh, getting knocked out there. Epley's going to come in for the stomp now. He does still have that Mist Form if he, or Vapor Form rather if he needs to use it here now. We do have the Shadow Refuge coming off which is going to enable him to res himself up without the use of the Mist Form at all. Lady Nagnik as well was mowing um, but she did manage to stealth himself in the mow so they're not a lot of risk was had there as well. And Adira Tari is going to get knocked out finally. So an extremely nice job there by CC holding complete control of these points but unfortunately they might have over devoted themselves to this a little bit because while this was happening Temple got decapped in an Eden's favor and back over here at the altar as well we did have a decap go at the same time while Can Scoot is currently taking on Super at this point. Let's check out what we got going on here. Going over to Super's point of view now, as he's holding off. Unfortunately, heals are six seconds away. So if, if uh, Can Scoot can pull off enough burst, he might be able to take him down. But at the same time, Can Scoot's in a bit of trouble as well. He's going to pop that Axe 5 now, as he whirls himself around there, trying to keep himself alive. But Can, or, um... Super did manage to hold himself up for long enough. Unfortunately for him, though, we do have the reinforcements coming in now from NN as they try to take down him now. But Lady Nagnag -Nag has come in to support this at the same time, trying to take him out. He does have that elixir on, unfortunately. There wasn't enough damage from NN in, there in, in order to keep Super down. I'm like reading the name wrong and I keep thinking it's in their name. But both the members from CC are gonna be jumping into that Shadow Refuge. May not have proven to be the best choice though as the AOE came in there from the Elemental Steer. Super has been knocked out. Uh, Lady Nagnag -Nag as well is down, but she does have the full burst, the full duration of the stealth and might be able to full res herself in that corner if, if uh, Blue Team doesn't notice her. But we are gonna see Super get knocked out here. We could see Lady Nagnag -Nag get up, but unfortunately the stealth has expired which is going to allow Blue Team to take him out there. But because once more, and this is an issue I think both teams are having, because both the teams have sort of over-devoted themselves in order to defend these close points or middle points or, or far points, um, then they have been losing any other points like we've seen here as well. Going back up here, Posse and Magua are currently holding a defensive line, trying to fall back to Temple, waiting for other teammates to spawn as well, as they did lose two of them in there, so they are in a bit of a tough time here, as they are going to have to hold a 2v1. They are being pretty smart of this, so Posse's going to throw down the fear wall, trying to harass Epoly a bit here, but while all that happened, Posse got pulled in there. He is going to be in trouble as he tries to keep himself back here. Let's go over to Posse's point of view now. Stillness. As he moves on to the point, and while all this happened as well, Stillness has spawned, Ugly does have the advantage, or Enen rather, does have the advantage to try and take the buff, and they did managed to get that buff away while all that was happening. So nicely done there by NN, sneaking that in while CC was otherwise occupied with two down members, sort of a, sort of a, a taste your own medicine, because that's what we've seen, that's what we've been, or not really, that's what we've been seeing that other team, uh, SC, I believe they were. I'm not trying to remember their, their acronym. We were following them a lot earlier, but they sort of did that as well, where they took teams out. Uh, they try to take teams out before buff spawn in order to give themselves advantage on those team fights. Uh, back at mid, though, we do have an engagement going on. Hawk and GI is taking out two members of CT at the moment. So more likely is not going to go in Hawk's favor as he gets funneled down here. And back over the altar, we have a bit of a fight as well. A super was just took down Guts Must Die, and other members of CT fell back because that was safely in their favor. And with that guy, CC is holding a three cap at the moment. Very nicely control of the map. Back over here at the temple, Epley did manage to get in there and decap that as they weren't fully defending that. Um, so they are going to be brought back down to two caps in just a second here. Back over here at gate, we have another fight engaged here at the the moment. Posse is down. Possibly about to get stomped here in just a second by Hawk and GI. But we are going to see a stat which unfortunately Posse was not able to utilize it now uh, because he uses the abilities there. Possibly a miscommunication there on that part. But Posse 
They did manage to get him rise up, but he gets rise up with a lot of Kani, so he is gonna have to cleanse his up using his heal almost instantly. It's gonna pop in a plague form here now. This is really a hectic fight that we're seeing here. Hawk and GI actually turning this fight completely around. Uh, managed to stomp out their Hawk and GI. But Posse once more is suffering from a lot of conditions at the moment. Popping into that, uh, popping into her, popping into her Death Shroud, who's gonna eat a lot of that up. Uh, back over here at the altar, we're gonna have another decap rolling in favor of the blue team now as Gus must die takes down that cap back at the gate. See what we got going on over here. Can Scott about to get knocked out by Sam here. Sam knocking him out there, so it is gonna, that point is gonna be held in favor of the red team. Back over here at the temple, we have Super currently taking on like this. That. Super currently taking on Epley, um, in addition to other members of CC who have come in. So, so this is not looking good for Epley at the moment as CC sort of rolls in here. Now Epley taking a lot of damage. Four members of CC is not going to be able to hold that off forever, unfortunately. And Epley is going to get taken down. And CC will knock him out there. And move themselves back over to middle where another fight has been engaged. And this is something that CC is doing sort of... This might be sort of the normal strategy for this map. Um, a lot of teams are sort of just zerging between the two points, like we're seeing here now with CC. They don't do it for the whole time, but when they can do it, it seems to be that the team that has control of two points is just zergs within the two points. Um, they are suffering from a sort of because their Guardian was knocked out there because they didn't have anyone there to support, um, but for the timing, it's sort of working. And as we're seeing here now, Sam suffering from a lot of conditions. Does have a stand your ground up in order to cleanse a lot of those, but a lot of them did just expire naturally, so it wasn't able to eat a lot of those without any risk. But guys, in about 30 seconds, we are gonna have the uh, we're gonna have the tranquility and stillness buff spawning, so it's gonna be fun in about 20 seconds now. We could see some pretty tough from pretty quick movements here from both sides. Stops about going on. Guts, and we could see them. Oh no, but Sam actually is interrupted by a MOA form. Guts still goes down though, which is gonna leave three members of Enna knocked out and out of this fight and not able to contest down at bottom, which is gonna pop up here in just a second. Red team actually choosing to utilize their advantage here, not going for below ground, but instead trying to go for a decap on altar. Um, and other reinforcements are now coming in. Um, other reinforcements not coming in for the red team as well, going in. No one's going for tranquility as of yet, which is extremely surprising. We do have Posse going down here now trying to take this, uh, but blue team might be able to get there in time, possibly to contest that. We're going to jump up here as well, uh, where a lot of NN are grouped up here now. Adira might want to be considered jumping down, which, but in all honesty, red team getting this isn't going to change anything because they already hold a three cap. Um, so it's really just stopping Blue Team from getting the advantage of that. And back over here as well, uh, we, they really need to stop CC from getting this, because currently at the moment CC is up uh, 410 points with a 3 cap to only 168 points for this Blue Team. If CC gets this, it might be GG. Mogwell's getting bursted down heavily though, so it does look like this is going to go in Adam's favor as three of them swarm in on him, trying to take him down, just trying to pull as much CC off on him as po as physically possible to try and keep him out of But he's still holding on strong for the time being. Uh, doesn't have access to the water or two minutes for the next three seconds, though, so more than likely he is going to get taken out here in the next couple of seconds. And he does go down. Posse is going to come in there to try to delay the stomps as much as possible. But CC still holding on to this recap at the moment. Back over at Alter. Let's see what we got going on over there. We currently have Count Scott about to knock out. Who is that? Ah, I missed it. Currently about to knock out Super. So they are going to get that point decap. Uh, nothing happening at Temple or Gate. Everyone's really just focused on this. And it did manage to get that. Um, but I don't think that's much of a chip off of CC's shoulder because they still hold two points. And they're only 25 points away from victory at this point. Uh, so they really just need to hold the two points they already control. Like over here at Temple. We, oh, unfortunately, they lost that as well. So they lose minute. It is going to sort of hurt here for CC. Uh, checking back on the gate itself. Let's see what we got going on over here. We do have MIM Sam holding on strong here, along with uh, Mago, who's here at the moment trying to take on Hawk. So they are holding on strong. As long as they can hold it for the next two, 30 seconds, then they're good to go. As we see here now, we have more reinforcements coming in from NN. Unfortunately, Hawk is getting lower. Oh, but Magwa got knocked out there by Adira's burst here now. Trying to come in with the res here. Just see how Magwa's health is sort of ticking up here. They did manage to get him back. Oh, no, Mistform actually popped here now. As reinforcements are really just trickling in everywhere from NN. Trying to keep him in, but it's not going to be enough. And CC is going to take that game once again. And as per usual, guys, feel free to leave any and all feedback. And uh, thanks for watching.